I don't like it if or when I hear there are no good women and no good men. Is that true or is it just you? I believe the way we look dress gives people, I guess I can say, a brief preview of how we are. So if I dress like a prostitute day in and day out, chances are I am what? Perhaps a prostitute. Now, that may not be 100% accurate, but I believe it is a very good general guideline. So if you are trying to get into a relationship, I believe by a person's appearance, we can be somewhat accurate in knowing if a person may be a good man or a good woman. Now, this may not be 100% accurate. So let me stress that to you. So you may say to me, what are some signs a woman may be bad? Okay. Now, this is my opinion. Okay. Many tattoos and piercings. Okay. What type of person will get many tattoos and piercings. Think about that. For a person to want to put tattoos all over their face, back, stomach, legs, and stuff like that, something is wrong. Now, I have a tattoo on my arm. which I really regret. Okay. So if a woman is wearing sexual and tight clothing, I believe you should stay away from that woman. And you may say, why is that? Okay. If a woman is comfortable exposing her body through clothing to random people, something is wrong. Look now, I believe we should mainly show our bodies to our spouse, right? So, if I am going around showing my body to random people, what do you believe I am going to do if I marry you? You may find out other things I do that is not good. See, I believe there are signs that we can pick up Man, I believe there are signs we can pick up to determine, I guess, somewhat accurately if a woman or man will be good for us. 
So don't ignore the small stuff. Because if you see one roach in your home, is there only one roach? I believe one roach shows a sign that there may be many more. If you see a mouse in your house, can you just say to you, well, there is only one. No, I believe there is more than one. Which I believe we all have problems, right? I believe we do. But I believe certain things lead to worse things. So I am not telling you to be all paranoid and see some minor things as huge things. I guess it really determines what it is. Okay. If you see a woman wearing a lot of makeup, now see that as a combination of the tight clothing and the many tattoos and piercings. So the sexual and tight clothing. I believe the more a woman dress in a very attention-seeking way, I believe the more you should stay away from that woman. So do you believe that attention-seeking attribute, I guess I can say, in the way she dress will change after you marry her? I don't think so. I don't think so. If a woman is single and she doesn't have respect for her body, stay away. If a woman is a loose woman now and you know that but still choose to marry her thinking that you are Captain save a woman and if she mess you over who can you blame yourself right okay what are some signs a man may be bad see i believe there are some signs that we can pick up to kind of tell, I guess, if a man or woman is bad. So don't ignore the small stuff because I believe some seemingly, I guess I can say, small things can lead to large things. I am telling you, I am telling you, okay, pants sagging. Now, think about this. If a man is sagging and showing his underwear, what type of man is that? I'm serious. A man walking around showing his underwear. Now, I believe there are some people who wear shorts under their pants who would walk around sagging their pants showing showing their shorts what type of mind frame is that i'm serious that man is no good he is walking around <laughs> sagging his pants like, you could not see that? Now, there may be some who sag may that may be good. I don't know. I used to sag. And I used to be a bad man. Oh, God. Man, please. 
Okay. Many tattoos and piercings. What type of person would do something like that? Well, Kevin, someone fun, someone sexy. How is that sexy? Tattooing your whole body or many parts of your body and having piercings in your nose, many in your ears, I guess your eyebrows, and wherever else. Something is wrong. I believe that is not normal. That is not sexy. I believe that is demonic. I believe in, I believe in pagan culture. I may not be all the way right in this. I believe they cut themselves and pierce their bodies and place tattoos. So how can it be any different? I may not be all the way accurate, but I believe they cut themselves. I believe, I forget where I may have heard this. I believe they will cut themselves for their gods or something like that. And I believe, was it like the Indians or something like that where they would tattoo their bodies? I believe they would do that either for war or for their gods as well. So I believe you are doing some pagan stuff. Man, tattoos are not sexy. I believe they are demonic. You can, even if you get tattoos of butterflies, bees, a rose, your mom's name, stop that stuff. Okay, let me say this too. So some signs a man may be bad. I believe I have seen some people with dreadlocks to where it did not really look too bad. But most people I see with dreadlocks, I think it looks horrible. I think it looks horrible. I believe it makes a person look like a street person, like a, like if you combine it with the tattoos and piercings and the sagging of the jeans and the tattoos and stuff like that, I believe it makes a person look like an animal. I am serious and I am not trying to hurt anyone's feelings. Please believe me. Please believe me. If you see something on TV, even if a famous person is dressed in that way, it doesn't mean it is acceptable to dress in that way. I believe some cultures are trying to push people to be gay and to be pedophiles and to be this and that. Okay, I believe in America, in many places, I guess, it is acceptable to kill your babies. Abortions, right? Now, is that right? Does that make sense? No. It is horrible. So if, man, okay. Let me continue. Okay, let me look at my notes. Okay, women. If you attract 
a man with your body, why would he be interested in other things but sex? If you are purposely wearing tight clothes to show your breasts and your behind, trying to make it look all big and plump, I guess I can say, if a man comes to talk to you because of it, how can you try to form a serious relationship if you baited a man or men with sexual things? How can you say men only want sex if you bait men with the showing of your body, man? What? Oh, my Lord. If you want a man to be interested in you, cover your body. Cover your body. Conversate with that man. If that man isn't interested in you because you are not exposing, because you aren't exposing your body, chances are that person may not be good for you. Listen now, I believe my cousin told me this back when I was a teen, I guess, or 12. I was interested in a girl, <laughs> either 12 or 13, and I was, I asked my cousin, can you teach me about how to get a girlfriend or something like that? And he told me, you can't get <laughs> every woman. Which is horrible advice, I guess. <laughs> but my point is, yeah, I believe he told me that. My point is, you can't attract everyone. Yes, there may be a woman or a man that you may want, but that man or woman may not want you. So don't dress like a very loose woman or if you are a loose woman, don't dress in a sexual way to try to get a man because you may get a man, but I believe you are not going to be always happy about it. Because if you are looking for something serious and if you are doing things that are not right, I believe in many cases or most or probably all cases, the relationship is not going to turn out right. So do it right the first time. Myself, I don't have a lot of money and I don't really dress too well. I am very plain, I guess. Plain Kev. But I lead with my personality. So if a woman becomes interested in me, She would, I guess, like me for me, not like me because I have a large home, which I don't, not like me because I have this or that because I may not have it, but I believe she will like me for my personality, which that is what I want. Okay, men.
I believe some men may say women only want money and that may be correct in some ways. But if you lead with your wallet, why would you do that? If you come to a woman and and try to attract her by telling her, I have this large home, I have this nice car, I make so much money, let's go out to eat, buy anything you want, money is no problem. So if you begin or if you attract women with your money, why would they be, why would they be interested in other things but your money? You baited them, right? You baited them with money. So you got them attracted with your money. So how can you try to change it into something serious when you baited them in the wrong way? If you do things in the wrong way, how can you try to change it and make it right, man? Now, in some cases, I guess it may work, I don't know, but if you start wrong, I believe you are going to end wrong, huh? So don't bait a man or a woman with your behind, your breast, your money, your car, your this or that. If you want them to love you for you, if you want them to like you for you, talk to them. Come to them in a genuine way. Don't substitute, I guess I can say your personality with stuff or objects. Lead with your personality, not with anything else, man. Please listen. All men and all women aren't bad. It is probably you. You are probably doing the wrong things. Huh? So how can you blame anyone else but yourself? How in the world, for 10 years straight, you continue to meet bad men or bad women? I believe you have to take the responsibility. Maybe it is something you are doing wrong. Man, let me stop here. God bless you.